Hello and welcome to our journey into understanding and overcoming stress through the lens of ancient wisdom. Today we're going to explore four stories from different traditions. Buddhist wisdom, Sufi wisdom, Stoic philosophy and Zen teachings. We'll also look into Taoist principles and how each one of these ancient philosophies interpret stress and provide ways to transcend it. Each tale has a unique perspective on stress and coping mechanisms that we can use in our everyday lives. So let's embark on this intriguing journey of self-discovery and stress management. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's take that first step together. Our first story comes from Buddhist tradition. The Buddha once said to a student, imagine holding onto a hot coal. Who would it hurt most? The student replied, it would hurt me, master. The Buddha responded, exact. Holding onto anger, stress or negative emotions is like holding onto a hot coal. It will only burn you. In our lives, holding onto stress is as harmful as clutching a hot coal. This tale serves as a stark reminder that retaining stress, anger, or negative emotions doesn't harm anyone as much as it harms ourselves. The Buddha, through this metaphor, is teaching us that the act of letting go is as vital for our emotional well-being as releasing a hot coal is for our physical well-being. Consider this in your own life. What hot coals of stress, resentment, or negativity are you holding on to? What is it costing you to hold on to these coals? Could you choose to let them go? Moreover, are there circumstances or people that stoke these coals, causing you further distress? Can you alter how you interact with these circumstances or people to lessen the heat of the coal? Pondering on these questions, may help us recognize and understand our own sources of stress better. The act of releasing our hot coals can bring us closer to a state of peace and tranquility, while also equipping us with the wisdom to avoid picking up new coals in our journey forward. Our next tale is from the realm of Sufi wisdom. There's an allegory about a man who lost his key. Although he knew he'd misplaced it inside his house, he decided to search for it outside, where the sunlight made it easier to see. He looked everywhere, becoming increasingly distressed, never locating the key because he was searching in the wrong place. This story mirrors our pursuit of stress relief. The true key to unlocking tranquility often resides within ourselves, yet we tend to seek solutions in the external world. Could it be that we, like the man in the story, are misdirecting our efforts? Turning our attention to Zen teachings, let's delve into a profound parable. A man found himself being pursued by a fearsome tiger. Desperate to escape, he reached the edge of a cliff and spotting a vine, he swiftly swung himself over the precipice. Suspended between the cliff and a perilous drop, he noticed another tiger prowling beneath him, while a mouse gnawed on the vine above. In this moment of peril, he spied a ripe strawberry within arm's reach. Despite the danger, he picked it and savoured its taste, finding it the sweetest he'd ever tasted. This parable encapsulates the Zen philosophy of immersing ourselves fully in the present moment, regardless of the stress or threats we may be facing. The man in the story, despite his precarious situation, pauses to savour the sweetness of a single strawberry. It's a reminder for us that there are always strawberries in our lives, moments of beauty, joy or peace that we can savour even amid our most stressful times. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves suspended between our past fears and future worries. But how often do we take the time to taste the strawberries? How can we cultivate a habit of identifying and appreciating these moments? And how might our experience of stress change if we learn to be present and find joy, even in the midst of challenges, our journey concludes with the tranquil wisdom of Taoism. A key principle in Taoism is Wu Wei, which can be translated as effortless action or non-doing. This is not about being passive or lazy, but rather about aligning ourselves with the flow of life. 
It encourages us to approach situations with calm and ease, avoiding unnecessary struggle or force, much like water effortlessly navigating around a boulder in its path. Stress often arises when we resist what is happening in our lives, when we try to swim against the current of our circumstances. However, the principle of Wu Wei invites us to let go of this resistance, to instead flow with the natural course of events. It teaches us to adapt and find a path with least resistance, reducing our stress in the process. This philosophy prompts us to contemplate, are we constantly pushing against life's obstacles, or do we find ways to move around them? Like water, do we force our desires onto life, or do we flow harmoniously with what life presents to us? By embracing Wu Wei, we may find that life's challenges become less stressful as we learn to navigate them with flexibility and serenity rather than resistance and struggle. Each of these stories from Buddha, Sufi wisdom, Stoic philosophy, Zen teachings, and Taoism offers a unique perspective on stress and its management. How can we apply these lessons to our lives? Which story resonated with you the most? Let's continue this discussion in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into ancient wisdom for modern times. Thank you, and until next time, remember to let go of your hot coals, search for keys within, focus on what you can control, taste the strawberries of the present, and flow like water in the stream of life.